Major milestone, everybody, as Sologenics announces the submission of new drug application to the FDA for Hybrite and the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. And we're, of course, sitting here once again with Chief Executive Officer of the company, Dr. Chris Shaver. And Chris, how are you holding up today? Congrats on this. Uh, thank you. I'm uh, doing very well. Uh, it's been a lot of work, but uh, glad to get this submitted. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to dive into the nuts and bolts of this. But before we do that, we've got a lot of info on here on the channel about hybrid and cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. But for those potentially new here, can you update them on those? Sure. So uh, first, uh, hybrid is a photodynamic therapy, first-in-class novel agent. It's a topical drug that's applied to the lesions on the skin, the cancerous lesions in this case, activated with uh, safe, visible fluorescent light to shrink the malignant cell. So uh, very direct approach, uh, we've generated a lot of data and cutaneous T cell lymphoma for those not familiar is a rare class of cancer. It's a non-Hodgkin lymphoma in which malignant T cells migrate to the skin surface to form patches, plaques in its most severe form, lesions or tumors. And yeah. we are focused on treating the early stage of CTCL uh, and uh, really trying to manage this this rare cancer, it is rare, it's an orphan disease, it's an area of unmet medical need. And the nice thing with what we're doing is with hybrid is we have the potential to be the first first line treatment uh, for early stage CTCL or cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Yeah, and we have a lot of information on this on the website, everybody, and also in other video interviews here if you want to get a little bit deeper into it. But Chris, I guess also from there, an important thing to define here is walk me through the importance of what a new drug application is and filing it for the FDA and why it's a milestone. No, no, it's a very important milestone in a life science company's uh, life cycle. It's uh, the culmination of sometimes 10, 15 years of development work. So those not familiar with the development process You'll start very early with preclinical work, whether it's chemistry, manufacturing, animal studies, and you'll work your way up to ultimately clinical trials. Phase one is healthy volunteers, a small showing that the drug is safe, the uh, drug candidate is safe. Then moving to phase two, where you start to look into the patient population that you're focused on, on treating. And then ultimately, a phase three clinical trial is really that trial that supports a new drug application. It's a very large study where you're showing your drug works and, and trying to highlight the benefits of the drug uh, via a host of, of clinical endpoints showing its, uh, its safety and efficacy. So really the 10 years, 15 years of work is a culmination of all of that, those studies that you're then putting in an electronic file to submit the F FDA. And really it's telling a story of the drug's safety and efficacy in a patient population that you're hoping to treat. So quite a bit of work, quite a, a lot of, of risk associated, as you would imagine, as you go along. Many therapies don't uh, get that far, right? Because they don't show they're safe or effective, and ultimately they drop off the radar. So to be able to take hybrid or the active ingredient, synthetic hypericin, through to a new drug application filing after a positive phase three study and being able to submit this to the FDA for their review for potential approval uh, and marketing authorization is, is a very big milestone in, in the life of a, of a small biotech company. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely huge. And I'm, I guess um, one last thing, Chris, if we could define if we could, do we have any sort of expected timeline for FDA, FDA approval of this? Or when can people just expect to hear more? So what we're saying uh, the, out there publicly is since this is orphan and fast track designated, we would expect a potential approval in the second half of next year. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that uh, that comes quickly. And then uh, ultimately moving, we're in the process behind the scenes of uh, of building and preparing for a launch of this orphan disease in the United States, which we look to launch at the beginning of 2024, if all goes according to plan. So that's kind of our timeline out there and the release that we put out. And uh, as more information becomes available, as we go through this review process, uh, from time to time, we'll be providing further update and letting everyone know the status of the application as we work towards these uh, these target dates and milestones. Perfect, Chris. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing your insight. If anyone has any other questions, don't be afraid to send them and stay tuned for more exciting updates coming soon. Chris, any closing words? No, just to uh, restate what you noted, uh, Michael, is that uh, on our website, 
Uh, we do have a high bright website uh, that's also out there, hybryte.com, that gives a lot of good information about the product, about the phase three study. Uh, and uh, if you want to learn more, it's a good place to go. Well said, Chris. Thank you again for your time and please have a wonderful day.